My name is Ben Mortensen, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Occupational Science and Occupational Therapy at the University of British Columbia. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about a peer-based wheelchair maintenance training program that we've developed. So why is wheelchair maintenance important? Well, there's two main reasons. First, there's safety. So wheelchairs that are not well maintained are potentially dangerous. So if a wheelchair breaks down when people are propelling across a road or going over a curb, uh, potentially people could be thrown from the wheelchair or thrown into traffic. Uh, and so many injuries have resulted from poorly maintained wheelchairs. So we want to avoid people who use wheelchairs from getting injured. Second, wheelchair uh, that are not well maintained are less efficient and so they take more effort to propel. And on the short term, that's probably not a big deal, but in the long term, that can cause overuse injuries. And people who use wheelchairs are already using their arms for many things during the day. They use them for reaching and for uh, dressing and helping their children and doing the laundry. And if they develop an overuse injury, not only can it make it so that it's more difficult for them to move around, but it actually can limit their social participation. So we are developed this program that's peer-based. And the idea is that we will train people who use wheelchairs to teach others these wheelchair maintenance skills. And we're hoping that by doing that kind of approach, that A, the program will be more readily, um, it'll work better because people tend to listen to their peers better than they listen to experts. And we're also hoping it'll be more sustainable in the future because that way, if the program gets up and running and starts to develop momentum, then people can start training other peers and eventually the researchers won't be needed anymore and the program will be self-sustaining. So, uh, thank you.